Hello everyone, I was watching this video the other day and it's kind of interesting. I'll include the link in the video description, but it is a real comparison between analog tape and I believe it's an Avid HD1 digital recording. It was posted back in 2010 and it's a direct recording or direct playback from tape and then they also record the tape again to digital, obviously, so we could hear it. Um, it's recorded three days after it was recorded to tape. So, like, virgin tape, and then they also played back um, tape they said they put in the closet or whatever. <laughs> so, um, anyway, what I decided to do, and again, this, is, this video is for educational purposes, so I can use this. In the video, it's, you know, it's one of the, it's a part of the, it's a part of copyright law called fair use. So, um, you know, I'm giving them credit for making the original files. And really, I wanted to do this because it's fair in that, you know, in this video, they say, well, you know, analog tape is better. Recording to analog tape is better. It has more vibe. And I agree with them. So I wanted to take the file they provided. Now, unfortunately, if you go to the website that they have here, it's no longer valid. It just, it, it, uh, it gives you a 401 error eventually. <laughs> but um, yeah, it just won't load up so I could download the original WAV files. And I wanted to record, and I wanted to use the original WAV files, but they're just no longer there. So anyway, on to Reaper where I have on the master track is just ozone. I don't think I have any limiting. Okay, I have I have it going a little two extra decibels just so it's a little bit louder, but it never peaks. It never brick wall limits. It's just for raising the volume. Um, and then we have on this track, on track one, the Slate Digital Virtual Tape Machines plugin set to normal bias, the two inch 16 track, a uh, Agfa 456, is it Agfa? No, I'm thinking film, I'm sorry. What? Ampex, I think it's called Ampex 456, their emulation of that at 15 inches per second. And I matched this, oh, and also the, the bass, the wow and flutter is regular. The bass alignment is four decibels, which I've been, that's really been the hardest setting, I think, during this little playback thing to figure out but I just want you to listen to this track one is the original and then track two and um track two here and then track three this is the version tape and this is the closet tape the three days in a closet tape if you watch the video you'll understand what I'm talking about and this is ripped from a YouTube video and I, I <laughs> so it's not the best quality to be processing but it's interesting how close it gets, so check it out. Now with the plug-in off. And back on.
If you ask me, this tape plug-in sounds pretty damn close, except the weird thing is, and even on the unprocessed version you can hear it, the snare drum is not very loud in the digital mix. So I have the plug-in off. The kick drum is pretty prominent, but the snare is just buried, and then in, in a tape it's not. So that's really the only major difference I heard between these two. And again, I'm using a compressed file from YouTube, compressed with data, and um, I don't have the individual files like you would normally use for virtual tape machines. You would apply it to every individual track so that the tape, or I'm sorry, so that the snare track, we can mix it however we want it to, instead of it being a stereo mix where I just apply one plug-in. So it'll be, it would be interesting if I could get these files from sample-rate.com. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this because to me it's as un unbiased as you can get as far as, look, this is a real tape. They used a Studer A800 in the video this is a simulation of the Studer A827. I'm guessing they're almost the same tape machine. I don't know what formula tape they use, but the closest thing that I that sounded to my to my ear was the FG456 or in real life the Ampex 456. I hope I'm still saying that right. I might have the company na name wrong. It's been a while since I've looked, but um, on these settings, I think it, it closely matched it in my humble opinion. And I'm glad I bought this plugin. It verifies uh, my thoughts on it. And if you go and look in all the comments on that video, you see people are like, oh, tape's awesome. Well, now you have tape inside your computer, which is pretty awesome. And you don't have to spend, you know, I don't know how much a, a, a tape reel cost. And then the tape machine itself to rent that or to buy that even, yeah, right, buy it. But uh, the, the tape reels are so expensive, way more expensive than this plug-in is. So anyway, this has been Adam for realhomerecording.com.